Here we go, boys. Soul bad guy in the raid as Macalis. So I'm gonna talk about uh, different team composition that give uh, a high amount of morale. Their the calculators uh, across the web they just they don't work uh, for Soul. So uh, this particular team gives 36 morale, and uh, if you replace Dn with Destina, it's gonna give you 32 morale. And if you replace uh, Dean or Destina with Angelica that gives 31 morale. I don't have a cat test to test her out. Uh, I believe that she might give in the low 30 uh, morale. Uh, I, I could be wrong, but I, I feel like that should be where she, she would be standing. Uh, Tamarine probably gives a good amount as well. Uh, you guys will have to test uh, these heroes out and let us know in the comment section because uh, yeah I have to manually test each of the group compositions and I've tried uh, other group compositions like I tried as the fort and instead of DN I tried um, mascot hazel it's really bad I tried uh, like Bellona if I could just like maybe heal with her with bloodstone it was not good so uh, I feel like these teams are very solid. Of course, DN is limited, but since this is giving me 36 morale and my previous team that I was running, which uh, was Angelica as the, the healer, and my core is basically the same as my three-man Wyvern setup. It's Angelica, Tarnar Guard, and Alexa, plus my fourth was Silk. So with that team, I was getting 30... Uh, what was it? 37 morale. So that's one less morale running this exact team that I'm running now. And uh, yeah, there's more offense on it. Uh, Soul is very solid. I'm gonna go against Secretary Vera. Also, the attack, bro, uh, attack buff from uh, Dian is very uh, useful to uh, speed things up. She's running Rod right now. You don't need Rod. Uh, to really uh, heal through the damage and the, the raid. Depends on your gear, but it's, uh, well, for me, with the amount of gear that I have, I'm gonna show my gear at the end of the video. I'm actually just running Daydream Joker across all damage dealers because that's that's what I run in, uh, in the raid. Uh, even though some of the targets have a low amount of health, damage that scales with the target's max health are not that big of a deal, really, against these. But uh, to get that uh, 36 morale with the group that I'm running, so you can use, uh, you want to use Sad Memory with Saul, bad guy, that's gonna give you uh, 21 morale, which is insane. And then with Tarnar Guard, you're gonna use Heroic Cheer for plus 15, and that is gonna give you 36 morale. I'm gonna show you guys in, uh, in a minute whenever uh, my morale drops because like you don't want to uh, uh, do it too early you cannot go above 70 uh, morale in a raid and uh, you cannot go above 50 morale in a labyrinth so you can use this exact same setup or replace dn with this tina or angelica and just run these groups as well in a normal labyrinth whenever you're done with the raid i actually uh, cleared the normal raid in uh, three runs so, uh, yeah, the rest of my tickets, I have to uh, use them uh, somewhere. We get seven plus one from the guild uh, shop, so we get eight in one week. I only use six for the, the raid, so I'm left with uh, two uh, normal ra uh, labyrinth uh, runs per week. Uh, you can check my guys on that on, uh, and all that, how to farm the labyrinth more efficiently and a bunch of uh, tips and tricks. Also, I have a bunch of guides where I was running uh, raid with high morale team of Angelica, Tarnagod, Alexa, and Silk. A very free-to-play friendly group. Now, uh, of course, this group uh, with DN is not... Well, it is free-to-play friendly if you, if you were saving your summons uh, for the DN banner. But a lot of players don't have her, so uh, of course, you could run it with Destina or uh, for 32 morale or Angelica for 31 morale. Now, there, there's probably some better morale uh, compositions than this. Uh, it's just we need that calculator to work so we can actually uh, uh, check it out much faster or you, could, you guys could just go try out different group compositions. 
maybe you could replace that for that Dean or Destina or Angelica with uh, like Tamarine, like I said, uh, a cat test and let us know about the results. But Soul is very strong in here. Uh, of course, like if you guys haven't seen my videos, I've done uh, Soul versus uh, Golem 11. Uh, there's two videos now. One was with uh, Clary, uh, Destina, Bellona and Soul. And the other one was, instead of Clary, was Mascot Hazel. So I had greater attack buff. But you can check those out if you want to see his, na uh, his damage. And also I did the uh, Wyvern 11. Uh, just using my three uh, man uh, setup of Angelica, Tarnagorn and Alexa. But then I just added Soul and you can see the difference in damage between Alexa and Soul. It is quite, uh, quite amazing. So you guys uh, can go and check that out if you haven't before. Maybe that's gonna convince you to actually like go and build this uh, this team of uh, oh my god of Tarnar Guard and uh, am I really gonna die here? My god! Let's hope I get healed enough. So yeah, maybe it's gonna convince you to build. Uh, uh, Angelica, Tarnar Guard, and Alexa for eventually three manning Wyvern 11. It's very helpful uh, because you can actually just gain a bunch of experience on the side as well as getting all the drops from Wyvern. Uh, it's very good to uh, be efficient to six star your heroes. But Sol, uh, his skill one deals 20% uh, more damage if he's uh, fighting a target that doesn't have any buff. And with his kit, that uh, with skill 3, he removes all buff from the target and he applies enable to debuff debuff. It is uh, very... Uh, it, there's a good synergy there, of course. Uh, I can actually just do the camping right now. So let, let me go ahead and do that. Let's start with Soul, Sad Memory. Like, look how crazy that is. There is not a, a lot of uh, group that can pull 21 morale just from like one dialogue. That's nuts. And uh, finally, turn our guard for heroic cheer. All right, beautiful. Let's go back to the fighting. So at 51 now, just gonna. Actually, I probably don't need the healing that badly early on. I'm probably going to turn off my skill. There's this battle plus the other one at the uh, intersection before I fight Secretary Vera. Sol is actually quite low in uh, health. He is only a 5-star, so of course his survival is going to go up by a good amount whenever I 6-star uh, him. I'm just waiting to actually get multiple copies of him from the... Uh, the side quest uh, Guilty Gear collaboration. It's much, much more efficient doing it that way, of course. And you can definitely be using Junkyard Dog on him when you uh, use him in the raid, because the targets, like I said, they don't have that much health to really scale that uh, damage based on the target's max health. And when you deal damage based on target's max health, you definitely want to apply defense down debuff on the target, but also, oh my god, Let's keep that healing going, shall we? But also, uh, you know what? Let's let's not do it. Let's not do it. I, I I don't think I'm gonna take that much damage, to be honest. Cause I, I'm not running life steal sets. Uh, yeah, I, I'm running. Yeah, let's just have some healing going, cause just in case that the. Uh, Unfortunate if I lose someone. Oh, well, that's the attack buff right there, so we're not gonna have it early on in the battle. It's fine. It's no big deal. Just gonna, gonna use potions. That's the perfect opportunity to do that. And let's head in the battle. I'm gonna talk about his multipliers if you guys haven't seen previous videos. He also he also uh, got attack buff, 
Uh, he's got it already, anyways. I mean, I could auto this, probably. I could just have this on auto. You know what, let's just... Let's try it. Of course, landing the fans down with Tarnar Guard is uh, is pretty hard here because he's at elemental advent uh, disadvantage, so he's got 50% chance of missing, which means he cannot land uh, a debuff. Wow, a lot of damage there. Going into the cocoon. Now you've got plenty of time to actually deal with this. Now here's something that's funny. He he does the counter right here, but who is he even attacking? He's like attacking. Uh, the boss that was in uh, phase one, but it, it, it's gone, you know. <laughs> That's like a, a bug right there. If if like they could code something so he doesn't do it because he just wasted a counter right there. S three. Wait, no, no, that's the counter. Sorry, another counter against uh, the cocoon, which is gone. So yeah, they they will have to do something about that because that. Just that just doesn't make sense. I mean, the counter spell, that's how it works, but like, <laughs> they should fix that. He does so much damage. It, it, it's crazy. Oh my god. Took a beating there. <clears throat> really, like, having. Like, Alexa is pretty low in terms of uh, survival stats. And, uh, yeah, Soul, he's, he's a 5 star, so there's that. And actually, my gear doesn't really have that much offensive, uh, defensive stats. And here we go. The killing blow, no defense down. Okay, I should have saved a potion, but I didn't. Now... Actually, I don't have enough morale to uh, get to where I want to go. Really, like, Executioner Carcanus with this exact group composition might be of an issue actually you know what i'm not quite sure about that now i'm not quite sure but i'm gonna be should i head there it's mostly fire monsters it doesn't matter it's just clearing normal trash monsters but what i'm wondering is that when carcanis goes in stealth right does that count for a as a non-attack ability I wonder, because he does an attack and then it follows with the stealth, so it's part of a skill that deals damage, I believe. I'm not 100% on that. You know what? He did it again. He did it again. He countered uh, the cocoon, which is gone now, and it spawned the, the monster. So they will have to do something about this, because it just doesn't make sense just you wasting his counters on things like that Dian uh, is probably struggling in term of healing since uh, early on when I was running raids I was uh, running multiple heroes with lifesteal sets but now I'm not running lifesteal so it's just basically like keeping the group alive with barriers but also from uh, from the rod on Dian so if you want to run this with like Dian and you don't have Rod or you don't have Celestine, Rod's gonna heal more because she's mostly uh, using non-attack skills. But yeah, with Celestine it could help in terms of healing. Uh, definitely have your heroes, at least some of them, on life steal if you're struggling to uh, sustain your group. I mean, Saul he can do really good with life steal. It's just that I have him on speed and it's basically like a bunch of gear that I like put together and I slapped onto him. Uh, his skill multipliers is 187% uh, damage with skill 1 and 20% more damage if the target has no buff. Skill 2 is 187% as well with uh, an additional 4% uh, damage based on the target's max health. So that scales with defense down, that scales with your crit crit damage. So you definitely want uh, as much as that as possible against uh, targets which have a high health pool. But also you want as much speed as possible so you can uh, just just do more damage uh, overall over the course of uh, the, the battles. Uh, so skill 3 has a multiplier of 299% but also uh, has 5% uh, 
uh, damage based on the target's max health. So that's huge, like together, like Daydream Joker when it's maxed out has a 3% uh, uh, damage based on the target's max health. That skill 3 is almost double that amount, which is nuts. Most players probably don't have a maxed out Daydream Joker as well. So it, uh, it actually packs a massive punch when uh, everything's set up with defense down on the target. Your critting gets multiplied by your crit damage. And also, if you have skill ups on him, uh, that damage based on target's max health will scale off of those skill ups. So my, um, my soul doesn't have any skill ups yet. Uh, Alexa, she's maxed out on skill 1, I turned off her skills. Tarnar Guard ha is maxed out on skill 1 as well, I turned off his skills because I just want to have a higher uptime on defense down debuff. Alexa, she attacks twice if she lands a critical hit with the first attack. Uh, skill multipliers only work whenever she uses skill 1 first, because it's called Fell, and then it triggers a different skill called Cold Edge. It's the same name as her skill 2, but it... I don't think skilling up skill 2 will increase the damage on that uh, that second attack from skill 1. It's just somehow it's got, it's, it's got the same name as the skill 2, which actually applies uh, two poison uh, effects for two turns. So yeah. Uh, now, it's good that if you run this team, you are you have a mix of ice damage dealers and also fire damage dealer, which is a plus. Another thing is that... Fire does actually really well in uh, Asma Kallis because Secretary Rivera, she's uh, Earth on uh, Phase 1 and 3. And uh, you've got uh, Devour Rakan, which is dark, and his adds are fire, so that works out. And you've got uh, Executioner Carcanis, which is fire, and his adds are earth. So really, fire is very strong in here. Uh, Jolivi Council, I believe, is light and the Queen is light as well with dark adds. So it, it works out beautifully. Like, we are so lucky to get, have gotten Soul Bad Guy, to be honest. Especially as free to play players. Uh, I am free to play since Global Launch. It's been 174, 175 days, uh, I believe. And uh, I can tell you that Soul is definitely worth the investment. So you should go, uh, you should go all in on him. And uh, if, if they somehow decide to nerf him, guys, which I highly doubt they will, uh, they will have the recall system, so there's no, there's no loss. You will just get your stuff back. But from what I'm seeing, like, I have good gear on him. That's, that's one thing you have to remember. But also, uh, like, if, if I'm fighting uh, bosses that have high health, Golem, uh, Wyvern, uh, if I'm doing... I'm f oh, okay, now I cannot push further at minus... 33 so because like look stats minus 85 percent attack health defense and speed you definitely <laughs> cannot push further with that so let's go there and uh normally i go down here check if i have enough of these uh coronation souvenir which i don't i just always buy the queen azuma uh, shik's gift i've gotten so many like i've got quite a few molagora seeds so far Gold Transmit Stone, Galaxy uh, Bookmarks, Covenant Bookmarks, like all these things I've gotten multiple times. Uh, it's definitely worth grabbing this. All the other stuff, to be honest, you can just get gear other places. In other places, the Kallis, you'll get them eventually. Now with the trading system, it's really good. And all these artifacts, like you can all get that over time. There's no rush, just go for the uh, Queen's Gift, really. Let's see that damage. Let's see how... Uh, what it uh, ended up being to be honest when i was running that other team with 37 morale of uh angelica tarnagard alexa and silk uh i'm i'm getting to the same point i kill like vera and then i get to that spot uh when i uh just before executioner carcanis because you saw i was at minus minus 30 uh 33 morale that means like uh, i wasn't even at the uh waypoint meaning that even a team that gives a bit more morale. So even a team, I think, yeah, maybe with uh, 40 morale, you can actually do that fight at the intersection. Uh, maybe you need 41 morale. But yeah, very solid team. This is a very solid team. So bad guy, he's a MVP. This is, yeah. I mean, it could roll good, but to me, it, I don't think it's gonna be worth the investment at where, like, 
from where I'm at in the game right now, this is bad. A uh, decent amount here, but let's see the battle result. Uh, whoa! My god. The, you know what? This, this probably accounts for all these counters that deal damage against like previous phase cocoons and stuff like that. Or maybe it doesn't. But you, we see the number on the screen, so maybe it does account for that. But now, uh, they will need to fix that. They will need to fix that. And, I mean, he deals so much damage. Uh, there was the fact that he is fire versus uh, Secretary, Vera, Secretary Vera, which is Earth. So there is that. There is the advantage there. Uh, versus Alexa and TG, which are I, so they are at elemental disadvantage. But most of the fighting was against trash monsters. Uh, so really and also uh, a, a mini boss so really I believe that his damage is pretty much where uh, it would it will be at during uh, most of your boss encounters in the raid uh, killing trash and all that that counter those counter attacks are like they're gonna be super helpful if they can actually happen <laughs> uh, at like at the right moments like at not against targets that are already dead but yeah, let's uh, let's move on here and let me show my gear. So that was the first run for the week. I'm gonna go and try to kill other bosses with him. Okay, sort this by CP. So Tarnar Guard, just a solid hero, which is very free to play friendly. And like I said, like if if you have Angelica. Uh, you can use that team of 31 morale uh, instead of my DN or even like if you've got this Tina, let's say you got her from Selective Summon like all the way back or even recently, whatever. Um, I mean, most players are rolling for Angelica now from Selective Summon. So still like 31 morale with Angelica, 32 morale with this Tina or 36 morale with DN. They're all like very good amount of morale to be honest like 30 plus is very solid Especially with heroes which are uh, obtainable for free turn our guard You'll eventually summon or save your mystic summons and you'll get him Angelica you could save your uh, mystic summons and get her of course DN you cannot get anymore until they, they repeat her limited event But if you have her you might take advantage of that until we uh, We know about other group composition that give high morale with Saul bad guy, but from what I'm hearing he's not good like he like i mean uh he was uh he doesn't synergize well well with other teams to get uh, high morale uh, uh, during camping but i mean that 21 morale from sad memory from him with that groom composition i was running is insanely high so i believe that there's a lot of potential for him so now we have him that can be used in golem uh, i use him in wyvern i've used him in the raid so this is super solid and now I want to test him in PvP, I'm just not sure if his attack stat is where it's at. Now he's geared for mostly for PvE, so not sure if I can get get, uh, get that going for you guys just yet. And also as a 5 star it's not uh, optimal of course. So uh, skill ups first here, so TG that defends down 75% chance with those, those dual attacks is really helping a ton. Plus that 25% combat readiness that you get for free every time he dual attacks, it's quite beautiful. Uh, of course, he's running Daydream Joker. It's not optimal for uh, the raid, but for Executioner Carcanus, it actually helps a lot because he has 100,000 health, same as uh, Golem 11. So you can uh, you can use that uh, on your damage dealers for Executioner Carcanus if you're having some issues there. Also, he needs to be uh, he needs his helm at plus 15. I wonder what. The four stats gonna be in this ring. Uh, actually, the four stats already there, but uh, yeah, extra damage and maybe I get another roll into crit damage. Now uh, his stats are very high. Uh, I mean, they could. I can get them even higher. It's just that's the gear I had available. I'll talk more about that in a second. Actually, um, also his sixth awakening is eight percent crit chance, which I have. Uh, I don't have yet. Uh, skill ups for Alexa plus. 3 on skill 1, I disable her skills, and DN, I, uh, yeah, I went, uh, I went all in on that S2 and S3, and she's using a rod, which is helping with the team healing, of course. Let's show the gear now. 
but yeah, like I said, uh, Angelica Tarnar guard and Alexa super super strong for Wyvern 11 three man. You can bring a fourth if you don't have the gear just yet for that, but it's definitely worth investing into. I, I tell you, uh, it you will not regret it because you can just bring Alexa in raid as well in your labyrinth and get more morale because Tarnar Guard and Alexa have very high synergy together in term of morale. That's why even with without uh, without um, Angelica, I'm still getting a huge amount of morale. And uh, yeah, I mean, look like, here on him, like crit damage. I've got crit chance on the weapon, that's it. And the other crit chance is on my necklace. The rest is from his base stat and plus the awakening. Crit damage, crit damage. Well, even the neck, crit damage a bit. Crit damage, crit damage. That's just like, I was able to just, I had these pieces of gear laying around. I've been slowly enhancing over time and it just uh, worked out. It just worked out. And of course his memory imprint, that's gonna be beautiful when we get that because just free stats and it's gonna help your uh, frontliner and just put your uh, squishiest uh, hero at the top spot. It's not gonna work for Sol itself because memory imprints don't work for the, uh, the own hero. But uh, that's gonna be just free uh, stats as well for everyone. No, Alexa's gear. Oh yeah, like his his crit chance, crit damage. Like his stats are the same as Alexa, pretty much. It's just that he has more speed. He's got more speed. Even the attack is like almost the same. Effectiveness. I don't need that effectiveness on Alexa. I need zero effectiveness. So unfortunately, her gear has a bunch of that, which is a waste. But whatever. <clears throat> Yeah, I've been using Alexa for a long time now. Uh, yeah, you can check out my other videos. I can actually swap this rank for something better. Which uh, I believe I should just do now. This thing. I've had, like, I had this on another hero, but I'm just going to put it back on to her. Might as well. I had better boots before with 40 speed. It's just I'm using those now for maybe a support or something. Daydream Joker. It's not optimal to be honest for the raid. Uh, Executioner Carcanus, it will help, but you could go with uh, a number of other artifacts. Uh, Elia's knife would be solid for her, just like a, a, qu a quick uh, example. Uh, she's gonna penetrate target's defense. Saul, he could be using um, uh, Junkyard Dog. I mean, you you could be using as well. Uh, there is on my Clarissa. You can be using Hell Cutter as well. That that would be pretty solid. But Junkyard Dog, I mean, it's free, so uh, and I, I believe we'll have it at uh, fully limit broken at, by the end of the event. So yeah. And uh, finally, the end. Yeah, she, I, she's got good speed. Like you just put whoever the tank he has in the front line. And uh, I mean, when you bring a support, it, that's usually the, the hero that you, you put in the front line, unless you have some, uh, some super bulky knight that you want to tank. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, just let us know about like different morale uh, groups that you uh, tested. And like, if you, if you have something that's in the high, like 30 morale plus, even like maybe you got a group composition with Saul that gives 40 morale. Let us know, guys. Uh, I'm very curious because uh, we gonna we kind of have to wait on those uh, camping simulators for now. But uh, this should get you guys going if you uh, maybe it pushes you to actually build Alexa. Uh, definitely gonna like you can check my Wyvern uh, 11 groups. Like even when I was four manning, uh, like you can see how quick my runs are. I'm doing runs in like uh, I think it was like sub two minutes or like two minutes. Uh, two minutes runs and as uh, three manning wyvern 11 my runs are like sub three minutes i believe uh some are even like uh, 230 or something like that anyways check those out if you haven't before i've got uh, multiple guides like i got a gold guide 
Uh, it's gonna be a series, only one is out. I've got uh, how to easily get silver transmit stone, not, not by selling three star penguins, another way, check that out if you haven't before. And how to uh, farm forever, how to grind covenant bookmarks, get friendship points and fathers, like pretty much the best way to do all that. You can check that guide out as well. Uh, and uh, all my playlists for Arena, Guild Wars, and uh, my guides, tips and how to's, all different playlists and also Abyss from Floor 62 Plus. If you are struggling in there, check those out. Uh, fight mechanics, a uh, bunch of like tips and uh, group compositions and what you should bring, what kind of damage you take and all that. And I show my stats and I use uh, teams that don't use uh, limited heroes. But uh, I tell you what you can uh, replace heroes with. Anyways, check those out guys. That's it for this one. Sub if you haven't before. Peace out for now. And good luck with the raid and have fun with Saul. He's such a amazing, an amazing hero.